Welcome to this full body Pilates mat workout where we're working with many intermediate level exercises such as rollover, side bend, kneeling side kick. We're really going to gently flow from one exercise to another. If you're ready to get started, join me on the mat. Let's go ahead and begin having a seat on your mat. Knees can be bent right in line with the pelvis, hands behind thighs, sitting right up over your sits bones. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, reverse and roll behind the sits bones, rolling back until the arms go straight. Inhale, and then roll into yourself, sitting tall. Using the hands for support, really focus on the opening of the back as you roll down and as you curl into yourself. That's gonna help prepare the spine for exercises just a little bit later on. And next time you reverse and roll back, we'll pause, hands come just above the knees, roll all the way down onto your mat, feet pressed down as well as shoulders to hands. Exhale, peel the pelvis, the lower spine and middle spine off the mat. Inhale, once you're up, massage through the spine and roll back down. So as you continue, really take care to supplely move through the back. And if you notice a tight spot, maybe pause, slow it down, breathe into that area a little bit more, trying just to open it up. A few more times here. And one last time through. Very nice, bring one leg up to tabletop position. Let your opposite leg lift to join. And we go into one leg, lowers down and up and switch sides. So the leg may reach all the way to the floor, it may not. Go more for sensation. That just the hip is moving, down and up. Center body for support. And if your toes happen to reach the mat, they're going to be really light and closer to the bottom ed edge of your mat compared to your body. So reaching leg a little bit further away. Next time leg reaches up, pause, squeeze legs together and arms come up towards the ceiling. Touching the ceiling with the fingers, imagine, and let the shoulders release back down. Reaching the arms up and release down. Squeezing the legs together firmly. Continue and let the palms rotate to face in towards one another. Shoulders stay heavy now. Arms open across from the shoulders. Inhale, rotate pelvis to one side. Exhale, come back to center. Then switch sides. So as you're moving with the supine twist, both shoulders and arms Stay really heavy and wide, no matter what way the pelvis is rotating towards. We'll do one more time for each side. Then staying center, this next time, let the thighs release into hands onto shins. Inhale, exhale, curl head and chest up lowering back down and come up once again pause reach the knees right over the pelvis keep them there lower down arms to ceiling push the arms down curl up pause reach the legs to the ceiling squeezing them together more firmly lower head and chest down arms up inhale exhale curl up maintain your curl start reaching the legs forward to any degree and now we pump the arms. So big arm pumps, deep breathing, trying to curl into yourself a little bit more. 
legs stay powerful and strong. Doesn't matter how low they go. It's about the sensation you're feeling that you can stay curling up, keep the strength of the legs. We're more than halfway through. Few more deep breaths here. Let's take one last deep breath. Pause, bend the knees, feet onto the mat, arms reach to ceiling, head lowers down. Arms behind you, stretch long with the arms. Circle the arms wide to the T, forward to the toes, and roll yourself up, extend the legs, flex the feet. Arms reach and stretch. Stack your spine up tall, arms to ceiling. Circle arms wide, take them behind you. Lift your chest, circle arms back to ceiling. Roll forward, arms stay next to ears. Reverse, roll yourself down. Arms reach behind, circle sweep. Rolling yourself forward, give yourself a stretch. When you're ready, stack the spine. Big circle arms, reach and extend back. Arms to ceiling, bend forward. They stay narrow to body as you roll back down. Arms reach, circle sweep, rolling forward, stretching, stretching. Sit up tall, circle around, stretch. Reach arms up, bend yourself forward. Now sit up tall, hands next to the pelvis. Grab behind one thigh, thigh close and towards you. Breathe out, leg goes to straighter and bend. Leg to straighter and bend. So a gentle stretch and release. Sitting up nice and tall. Keep the leg in the straighter position. Take hold near the ankle, flex the foot, and point through. And flex to point. Continuing to breathe deeply here as you move through an ankle. Keep foot pointed. And now start rocking back. Hands walk down the leg. Take your time. Move through the back. Inhale. Rock and roll yourself back up, sitting tall. And repeat, roll down. Hands press in to leg, leg presses into hand. Rolling up, lengthen tall. One last time, rolling down and rolling up. Pause here, opposite hand goes to the foot or ankle, reach for your arm, rotate spine. Lengthen more, reach foot or leg forward into hand, opposite arm reaches back behind, unwind, both hands on leg just for a breath, and reach arms and leg away from one another, reach back up. Leg lowers, arms ceiling, and lift. Let's do three, two, one last time. Very nice reset second side. So hook behind, second thigh, sitting tall. Leg goes straighter and bend. Breathing out and in. Deep breath, slow motion here. So we're not forcing anything. Keep the leg in your straighter position. Hands go closer to the ankle. Flex through and point and flex and point. Where can you engage a little bit more? Where can you relax and release a little bit more? So focused effort and energy. We'll keep your foot pointed this next time. Rock back and start walking down the leg, pressing leg into your hands until you're all the way down. And then walk back up. Lengthen 
and slow motion down. So we want to control the down rather than gravity pulling us down. One last time. And we'll stay up this last time. Opposite hand to foot or ankle. Free arm lifts and rotates. Once you're in your rotated position, really press foot forward, reaching arm further back behind, getting taller, breathing more deeply. Then coming back to center, pause for a moment, both hands on leg. When you're ready, reach away and return. So torso stays nice and still here. Just a few more times. One last time. Very nice stretching your spine forward. Reverse, roll yourself down, press into arms and roll over. Open legs, flex, toes reach towards the floor. Slow, roll down. Take it slow. Circling legs and rolling over. Pressing into strong arms, controlling the down, and find that suppleness with your back, with your roll over exercise. We'll take time to do two more, really getting the benefits from the exercise. Maybe as we continue on, you're feeling more positive stretch with the movement. And one last time through. Next time pelvis rolls down, keep it there. Circle the legs around up to the ceiling. Take one leg down to the floor. Opposite leg, leg circle, inhale, exhale. So circle size of your choice can be small or a little bit bigger. Both shoulders staying heavy, really reaching leg up towards the ceiling. And next time it reaches up, you pause and reverse open, reach around and up. Still allow yourself to breathe deeply. Your breath flows and so does the movement. Next time, leg circles up. Opposite leg joins and switch sides. So leg that was just circling goes down. When you're ready, circle around and up. Reaching with long, strong, still leg will help this exercise. Pause up, reverse the direction. Just a few more times through here. And one last time. Very nice. Bend both thighs into the chest. Rock and roll yourself up. Prepare rolling when you're ready. Roll back and up. Inhale, exhale, massaging along the back. Two more times. Very nice, sit tall, let's open the legs wide and open arms across from shoulders. Rotate to one side, inhale. Exhale, center. So staying vertical, switching sides. Legs stay strong, pelvis stays still. And one last time. Very nice, we'll come back to that for now. Come on to your forearm. Keep legs open and hips lift and down. Hips come up 
and graze the mat. Two, one last time. Keep hips relatively light on mat, free hand behind head, top leg swings front and back. Swing it front and back. So we can exhale front, inhale, reach back. Last one. Very nice. Bring yourself back up. Have a tall seat. We'll pivot forward just one time. Find a little pivot. Come right back up and switch sides. So go to the second side. Legs long and strong. Hips up and down. Hips to come up and down. They just graze the mat and then we come right back up. Two more times. Two. One. Hips stay on the mat. Hand behind head. Top leg front and back. So freedom in the leg, really still with rest of body. One last time. Very nice. Bring yourself up. Have a seat. Sitting nice and tall. Go back to your pivot forward. Hands can be on legs and upper hands on mat, whatever you prefer. Pivot forward and up. Find that pivot. Last time, pivot. Up, open arms once again. Rotate to one side, stretch forward past your pinky toe. Come right back up and center switch. Rotate, stretch forward past the pinky toe. And maybe today is not the day where you go past the pinky toe, but in the future, just envision that you're reaching further forward as your back arm is lifting up. So we have that beautiful reach with the arms in opposite directions. One last time. Very nice. Grab behind thighs or onto ankles. Legs go straighter, open leg rocker. Inhale, exhale. Find your push with legs into your arms. So elbows trying to stay straight. One last time. Very nice, pause here. Squeeze legs together, take them to tabletop. Reach your arms forward. You find your control, roll down onto your lower back, middle back only. Bring your legs to tabletop. Take hold of one leg, opposite leg goes straight and switch. Deep breathing here. Knee coming just right over the hip rather than all the way forward to the chest. Keep curling up, curling up towards your legs. Pause, both legs into tabletop. Exhale, curl into yourself a little bit more. Arms and legs reach away. Circle arms, bend knees. Stretch, reach, circle and bend. This is still focused in the abs. Maintaining your curl position. Let's do three and two. One last time. Very nice. Now stretch and reach just so you can roll onto your side and both legs come up and down. If you need a little extra support, top hand come, can come down or both arms are reaching. Two more times, two, one. Roll onto your back three times, pull in, reach away. Exhale in, reach away. One more time, stay away, roll on second side. Legs down and up. Really reaching long with body. Two, one last time. Roll onto your back, pull in, rock and roll yourself up. Let's come hands and knees. 
tuck through your toes right away. The hips come up towards ceiling, pressing heels down. And exhale, roll through your spine. Rock front and back with ankles. Bend the knees, hips up. Think about as you're rolling through the spine. Rock, then hips back and up. How you can make this more ooey gooey. So find the stretch and the reach. No rushing through this movement. One last time. Very nice. Walk the feet forward so you can take more of your heels down. Head stays down. Now walk your left foot and then your right foot forward. Left foot back, right foot. Repeat. Left, right, left, right. As you continue, head stays down. Can you release it more? Then we'll pause. Next time the legs go back, switch leading legs. Right, left right, left. Think about creating space by rounding through your lower back a little bit more. One last time. Very nice. Knees come down now. There you are going to walk away just a little bit, tuck through your toes and start pressing pelvis forward, hips Press and reach, open through the hips, and then roll yourself back part way. And repeat that. I would encourage you to go a little bit slower with this motion, getting an extension through the entire back. And this can stay really small if you want, where we just press forward a little bit or bigger. What's nice for you right now? And one last time. Very nice. Walk the knees forward towards you a little bit. Toes are still tucked. We press back and return. The spine is nice and round here. <sighs> Breathing deeply. <sighs> now knees can stay down or same exercise. Hover the knees, press, return. Much more challenging in the, in the knee hover. We're still rounded with the spine here. Pause, go natural curves with back, press, return. So just honor the natural undulation of your spine. Two more times, two. One, very nice. Press back for a deep breath in child's pose. Roll yourself forward and up. Coming to high plank. Lowering all the way down. Toes are long. Inhale, upper spine to lift. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, upper back. And down. One more time. Stay down, forehead onto the hands. One leg lift and down. Opposite leg up. Knee staying straight. Now lift, kick, kick to straight, lower. Lift, kick, kick to straight, lower. One more time each side. You can keep it here or come up onto your forearms, lifting up through with the legs. Kick, kick one, lower. Second side. So single leg kick. Powerfully press the arms down and reach your collarbones forward. Next time leg goes straight, they stay straight. Lower down, prepare for double leg kick, hands behind the back. Here we go, kick, two, three. Reach arms and legs straight, spine comes up. Look to second side, kick, two, three, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to kick. We'll stay up, 
Reach and circle the arms forward in front of you. Swim it out, up and down, up and down. Big and powerful with arms and legs. Let's take one more deep breath here. Pause, lowering down. Hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck through the toes. Exhale, push up, lower down. Push up and down. Last one. Very nice, knees come down. Open arms across from the shoulders, high kneel position. Start pivoting over to one side. Hand comes down, free hand behind, extend bent leg. Kick front and back and back. Maybe much more challenging than the other side kick we did. Two, and one last time. Pause, lower the leg, the knee can see where it is, or reach your arm and extend the leg. Lift up over, lower down. Lift up over, and down. One more time. Come up, knee down, bring yourself up, high kneel, bring the arms into you, open out, reset, second side, pivot and tip over, find that position, extend the leg, we kick and back, kick to back, almost there, one more time, very nice, leg goes down, arm reaches, opposite leg can go up, side bend, and lower. Another time through, then come up to your plank, knee down, bring yourself up, have a seat on your mat, very nice. Reach, legs in front of you, knees bent, squeeze them together. Pivot back part way. Now curl on your pelvis. So we're not up on your sits bones. Reverse, roll down onto lower back. Take a breath, roll into yourself. Let's do that again. Lower back, roll into yourself. Lower back, option, roll into yourself, extend legs. Roll back and up, rolling back. And up. One more time. Very nice. Come on to forearms, bend the knees. Rotate pelvis to one side. And then to second. Really try to press equally into your forearms, lifting up out of them. Deep breathing. Keep with this, or three circles in one direction. One. Deep breathing, two. And three, reverse the direction. Another time, beautiful. Bring yourself up, either grab on the outside of the legs or around and through, preparing for seal. We roll back and up. We can keep it here. Or it's called seal because we clap one, two, three, clap back two, three. And it may be one clap at a time. It may be none today. This exercise can take a long time. Another time here. Staying up, cross the legs, sitting in a cross-legged position. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Notice how you're feeling after that session. The energy is still running and coursing through your body. Continue taking deep breaths. And if you'd like to do any other movements, maybe circling through neck, rolling shoulders, even stretching something, feel free to do that.
Absolutely amazing work with this session. If you enjoyed this session, you may also really like the downloadable guide that I have prepared, which lists all of the traditional 34 Pilates exercises, many of which we moved with today. I'll leave that linked up for you. I hope that you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.